Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valentina Arjona, in case you're new to this channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do seven different outfits with just one pair of jeans. I hope you like it, and please don't forget to leave me in the comments which of these outfits is your favorite. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create seven different outfits with one pair of jeans. These are my favorite pair of jeans, they are from Zara. They're a straight cut, they're ripped in one of the knees, but at the same time, they're pretty basic, so they work for everything. For the first outfit, I'm going to use a graphic tee. Today, I chose to wear a black one, and it's very interesting how you can transform a basic tee in a very fun look. That's why I like to tuck in my t-shirts and also roll a little bit the sleeves to make it look more fun. And this outfit, I paired with my black combat boots. I love this look. I think it's very easy going, but at the same time is very cool. For the next outfit, I used my plain white t-shirt that has shoulder pads. You know I love this shirt. Of course, I tucked it again. 90% of my outfits are going to be tucked in. I think that's something that I do pretty much every day of my life, unless there's something very specific that you're actually going to see a little bit later in the video. But for this outfit, I added this necklace that is a stack of different, more delicate necklaces and gives it something a little bit different, makes it look more interesting. And I pair it with my Stan Smith, so it's a very simple and clean look. Very easy to put together, but at the same time, it looks very casual and fun. I wanted to create an outfit that was a little bit more elegant or elevated without being too dressed up. That's why I use this shirt. This is a very um, shiny material and I feel that sometimes when you leave something like this out can make you look a little bit older, but you can also make it look so fun. I also added a pair of sandals, some kind of animal print to it. I love them. They're very easy to use. You can walk easily. You're not going to get tired. And I added a pair of big earrings. I love this one because they have a little bit of turtoise. Is that how you say it? I have no idea. Anyway, it looks very similar, the color with the shoes and everything. I just thought it looked cool. Now in this outfit, this is a shirt that you guys ask me a lot about. This is a very old shirt, but I love it. You can certainly find things very similar. I'm going to try to link everything in the description below. And if I don't find the same exact item, I will try to link something similar. So this is kind of like a thick lace. I don't know the proper name of it in English. It has big shoulders and it has a long sleeve, but at the same time it's see-through. I think it's so feminine and so beautiful. This one is from Sarah again. I love the end of this shirt, so I don't really tuck it in. Of course you can, but it's so specific that I do like how it looks on stock. And because this is a more feminine look, I'm going to pair it with a pair of sandals. These kind of sandals, you tie them in your ankle and it looks very feminine, very... I don't know. I hope you like this outfit. I just love every outfit I create with this shirt. this next outfit I'm going to use my button-down shirt. You can use this outfit with a different kind of shirt as well. You can use a shirt that is a little bit more thick. This cotton is a little bit more thin and it gets really wrinkly, but you can use it with whatever button-down white shirt that you have. I style it as well with the same uh, necklaces that I used before and this time I wanted to make it a little bit more fun. So I created a knot in the bottom of the shirt. This is very easy to do and because it's an oversized shirt, I tucked a little bit the tail and the end of the shirt under my jeans, like I tucked it in the jeans and I paired it with my black loafers. This makes it look more like a casual chic thing instead of being too elegant or too casual. It's just in the middle so it's perfect to go to work or one day that you need to be presentable but not overdone. Now 
Now this next outfit, I love it. I haven't used this body in a while. This is the bodysuit from Zara. I know you can tell by this video that I love Zara. I really do. I pair it with a pair of chunky sneakers. These are very old as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to link them. Any pair of chunky sneakers would do. I love this bodysuit and I used it so much when I bought it. But because sometimes it can be a little bit too sexy, I added a leather jacket on top. I absolutely adore this look. This was very much my style a few years ago. I feel like it has changed a little bit, but now that I wore it, this makes me feel like myself. And for last but not least, this next outfit, I wore a knitted top. This is like a tank top, but it's knitted. I love this top. You do have to tuck it in, otherwise it can make you look a little bit older, I feel like. But as soon as you add the chunky necklace, it transforms in something beautiful. This time I paired with black leather ankle boots. These are from Nine West, and I added a big jacket. This is a suede jacket. It has hairs on the inside. I don't know what the name of that material is, but it's very hot very comfortable i love that jacket as well for me it's kind of like a piloty style i don't know i might be crazy but i love it and that is my last outfit That is all you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave me a thumbs up because that helps me a lot and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!